Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about a movie I finished watching last night called Scum. This is a movie by Paul Gonzalez III, and he is the brother of Staunch TV, my good buddy Alex Staunch. Staunch TV is going to put this movie in full on his YouTube channel on April 1st, so I will put a link down in the description for you to check this out. This is the first time it's going to be available completely for free and on YouTube, so I would definitely recommend watching it if you like low-budget zombie movies. So, the movie sort of reminded me a little bit of The Dead... Is it The Dead Next Door or The Dead Come Home? The Dead Next Door. And just a little. It just sort of had that vibe to it. The acting was a little bad in spots you could tell it was a little cheesy in some areas in terms of the local friends they had that were acting or the people that they hired the main point of the story is there's a zombie outbreak in a small town due to a local shampoo factory putting out shampoo that creates zombies there's some pretty cool special effects for a low budget or micro budget film some of the some of the stuff looks sort of like mashed potatoes. There was a point where the zombie was sort of screaming and stuff was falling out of his mouth and it looked a little bit like mashed potatoes to me. The uh, The movie has like a scratchiness to it with fake grain. So it definitely has that feeling of like a maybe early 90s, late 80s horror movie that they like grind house the shit out of it. So I do like that. I think that they went for that look, sort of like a hobo with a shotgun thing. And I think they captured that, which is also kind of why, again, it reminded me of the the Dead Next Door. Let me make sure I'm saying that movie name. Yes, the Dead Next Door from uh, 1989 by, uh, what is it, J.R. Bookwalter, I believe, is the guy's name who made that one. The one thing I really liked about this movie, or that I was impressed with, I should say, is I thought the camera angles were good. Sometimes with low-budget films... They'll, they'll film and the angles are a little weird or they're in one spot for too long. I thought that they really did well with the camera angles. I don't know if it was a more of a seasoned person running the camera, but there was cool angles. There was different things happening in different scenes angle-wise. They weren't stagnant with that. So I really liked that part of it. I know that's a funny thing for me to kind of bring up, but I was impressed with that. The movie definitely has a, a, a cool kind of small town vibe to it. It was filmed in Beeville, Texas. As I said, it's like a micro-budget film. And my buddy, Staunch TV, said he was in it for a few scenes. And he also did a lot of the like little special effects with the blood and stuff. So hats off to these guys for making a homegrown zombie movie that came out as well as it did. Really, my only complaint is, like I said, some of the acting is a little stilted. But overall, I thought the movie was good, low-budget, horror cheese with some grindhouse looks, some good camera angles, and it does leave the opening, not to give away too much, it does leave the opening for maybe there'll be a sequel, you know, it kind of leaves like a little bit of like a, a cliffhanger. So overall, I thought Scum was pretty good. I think for a low budget film and a homemade effort, it's very good. It's, um, it's something I would probably see myself watching again. And again, if you like The Dead Next Door, I would recommend checking out Scum on Staunch TV's challenge, challenge channel on April 1st, where you can watch it for free. Link down in the description. Thank you guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.